In Grand Isle, some residents have their yards buried under sand from the levees, while others prove the theory that the grass is greener on the other side. Mayor David Carmadale is in Washington trying to get money for levees, so Mayor Pro Temp Jay LaFont talked to us about what's going on in Grand Isle. We basically have uh, the electric people down here. Energy is, uh, has gotten as far as Fushon, and last night they got the, uh, the fire station hot and a few of the st street lights on Highway 1 and down the streets have a few hot places. So basically what they're doing today is trying to see how much else they can put on. They've been having run into some few problems with electricity, but uh, hopefully by in the two or three days we'll have everything going on Grand Isle as far as electricity is concerned. Mr. LaFont explains what the main cleanup effort for Grand Isle is. The main cleanup is, is mostly on Highway 1 towards the uh, that end of the island on, on, uh, towards the bridge over there. Uh, we have uh, a lot of the, all the ditches, the drain the ditches are covered and uh, trying to get that out. Plus the debris that from houses and buildings that, that, that uh, the storm destroyed. Mr. LaFont also explains why some levees held while others broke. It seems like wherever we had problems on the beach, it was basically the sand levees that, that washed away. but. They come up with some kind of design that what they call the burrito. I don't know if you heard the mayor talk about the burrito. What it is is they take fabric and they lay it down and they come with clay mud and they put it in the fabric. They fold it back over just like a burrito and they sew it. And if you uh, film along the beach, everywhere you see where the levee stayed, it was that burrito type levee. So the the core is really looking, taking a hard look at that and uh, maybe come on top with rocks or, or other matting of some sort just to make it more sturdy. Some people have said that they should give up and move away. Mr. LaFont explains why people will stay in Grand Isle. Uh, nobody wants to leave Grand Isle. I mean, we got the sand between our toes, and once you, that happens, uh, home is home, you know. And, and I don't think anybody that's been raised and, and lived in an area for a long time would want to move to another area uh, unless it really became necessary, you know. I mean, uh, we, as long as it's got a little land and sand here, I think the natives will, will want to stay here. 